a kid, I was 10 or 11 when I heard about them. There was a teacher who was very interested in local history, so she told us a lot of um, stories. Among them were Guðrið Thorbjarnadóttir and her incredible story. Astrid Sagas tell us that she was from Laugarbrekka in Snæfjörsnes Peninsula, or her parents lived there before they went to Greenland. Her life story is quite remarkable because she is on sort of she's both on the cutting edge of technology of the time, which is the long ship, and she is on the on, on the forefront of not just exploration but settling a, a, a new world. And a, a character like that would be interesting in any age, really. Another one tells more that of Guru than the other. One of it tells that she was a widow when she came to Greenland. So she could have been married three times, but who cares? Her story is clear in both of the sagas. What's interesting and what connects the saga of Gudri to the, to the rest of the Icelandic sagas is that she is uh, in that group of the strong, independent women that are so uh, prominent in the sagas in all of the sagas. Gudrid is a prime example because we know uh, that she is not fiction, that she is a true character. Uh, many of the women in, in the other sagas, well, we, you know, it's debatable. Are they fictional characters or are they real? Either way, they are based on the way women behaved or could behave. But she is a, a historical character and therefore she has, uh, prominent position, I feel, in the sagas and in our history. Yeah. <laughs> 